Bring in David Alterton. He is a trucker and protester in Canada. David, we've got a developing situation here. We just heard that the Premier of Ontario will remove the VAX mandate for all settings on March the 1st. We also hear that Mr. Trudeau may invoke emergency powers to remove the truckers. So what we've got is the carrot will get rid of the VAX mandate and the stick will force the truckers out. This is a very new development. What's your response? <laughs> if you think that's going to break our spirits and make us leave, you got another thing coming. They tried to freeze us out. They've tried to starve us out. They've tried to push us out, and we are not backing down. We are going to push and push until we finally get what we're looking for. You got to remember, we are truck drivers. We're used to going out in storms. We're used to going out and going against things that most people would pull over, hide in the back of their vehicles and cry. And pretty much we're used to going in extremely cold weather. Some of us run the ice roads. Some of us run all over North America and Mexico. And uh, we are not backing down. We are not going anywhere. We are going to stick it out. We're going to fight it out. Myself, I personally, my carrier took away my truck. It was on the front line and expected me to bring it back on Friday, which I did. And then right after they took my truck, I gave them the keys and I told them, you own that truck. You don't own me. You sold out your country. You sold out your family. And I'd hate to see how you're going to look at your grandkids and raise your head if we do not get this freedom we're like it doesn't matter how much money that people give you it's not worth losing your freedom today is february the 14th there's what 15 days or 14 days left in the month at the end of the month come march the 1st the premier of ontario says they'll remove the vax mandate in all settings you're not happy with that i mean i would call that a, a partial victory for you guys that's just for ontario that's not for sure. Quebec, that's not for New Brunswick, that's not for Newfoundland, that's not for British Columbia. Sure. We're going for all of Canada, yeah. all of Canada, not just Ontario, not just the Western states, all of Canada. We made promises that we would stand up, we would fight for everybody. Like if you go to Ottawa, if you actually take the trip to go there, you will see that there's somebody of every race every religion and pretty much they're all standing side by side united they're eating at the same sure. places they're going to the same motels to use the showers there which we rented rooms so truckers can shower and they're hugging they're getting along they're not fighting and the only thing that's happening with all these tactics that doug ford and justin trudeau are throwing at us is you're making us stronger and you're pushing us more together and you're actually filling our ranks Okay. You're getting more truck drivers to stand up that weren't before. Uh, a very determined David Alderton from the, uh, the Canadian truckers. David, thank you very much for being with us this morning. We can tell you're determined and we like you being here. Thanks a lot, sir. Okay. You're welcome.